searching on chapter and verse. We've done keyword searches, but what about searching when you know the chapter and verse? Start with a simple example. Search for just Alma and you get the entire book of Alma and everywhere Alma is mentioned. Search for Alma 60 to 7 in quotes, and you get chapter 60 of Alma and verse 7 is highlighted. If you want all of Alma, chapter 60, type Alma 60, quotes are optional. Some books, especially in the Bible, have the abbreviation, rather than the full name, for the book as part of the verse. To get a specific chapter or verse, you have to use the abbreviation. For example, 1JN3. More on chapter and verse. Anytime you put a colon in your query, the program assumes you are looking for a specific scriptural reference. This does not apply to the lectures on faith, but more on that later. Search for John 3, for John chapter 3. If you don't like the results, put the search in quotation marks. Search for 1 JN 3 for all of 1 John, chapter 3. You can put a colon after the 3, use quotation marks if you want. You can also spell out 1 John 3. You could search for D and C to get all the verses in the D and C, but you probably wouldn't want to. Normally you would type D and C followed by chapter, colon, and verse. Here's another example of filters. Search for D and C, filtered by Everlasting Covenant. Better yet, search for Everlasting Covenant, filtered by DNC. Always narrow the search down as much as you can, as early as you can. If you are planning on copying all the verses for a search you can filter out certain sections. Search, Everlasting Covenant. Filter, D and C and not 131 and not 132 and not 133 the word and is optional. Here's some more search examples. Say you want 1st Nephi 3 and 7. Incidentally, there are no abbreviations in the Book of Mormon. That's the only book that doesn't have abbreviations in this software. If you'll notice our abbreviation chart there are the books of the scriptures in order by book. They go through Genesis, the Old Testament, through the New Testament and then the Book of Mormon in which you will notice the book and verse are the same and the D and C is slightly different also. 1 Nephi 3-7 gives you Nephi, chapter 3 with verse 7 highlighted. You can also highlight ranges of verses. For example, 1 Nephi 3-7-11 or 1 Nephi 3 to 7 to 11, 10 to 28, 30. The ranges don't even have to be in order.
Now we're going to talk about the lectures on faith, which are arranged differently because the lectures don't have regularly numbered chapters and verses. However, paragraphs from the lectures on faith will appear in your searches anyway. So, let's clear all this stuff out. And there's a key word called lecture. Put a colon and a space after lecture. If you want to get the entire lectures on faith, you can get that. You say lecture colon space all? If you want lecture fifth, you ask for lecture, fifth. If you want to see just the preface, request lecture, preface. I didn't include the preface for any of the other books because we don't usually search those, much less read them. But the preface to the lectures on faith is important because it explains how the book came about. I don't know of anybody who ever references the lectures by chapter and verse, but if you do a search for something like the word faith, the word faith will come up wherever it's found, including the Bible, Book of Mormon, D&C, Pearl of Great Price, and the lectures on faith. So that's where it would be useful. Like we saw that, where we did a search on John and it came up with a lecture because it quoted the Book of John. Okay, we've covered the lectures on faith and we're just going right through this help file. Search for people. Now, we're going to talk about finding people. If you just want to do a search for Nephi, you're going to get every person named Nephi in 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th Nephi for every verse and every time the name Nephi is mentioned. So, what you can do, there's a keyword called person, followed by a colon and a space. If you just clear the search and search for N. E. P. H. I. And we are going to get 2,500 references, every time the name Nephi is mentioned. But if we request person, we'll cut it down to 435 times. There's a lot of people named Nephi in the Book of Mormon. You're still going to get those. You can do this, you could try filtering it down to say only the books of 1st or 2nd Nephi. I just did a search on Nephi filtered down to 1st Nephi and 2nd Nephi and I got 388 items shown and 45 items hidden. To prove this works, just unhide all and try the filter again. Without the filter they all come back. Here's something else you can do. If you want to see where Nephi or Sam is mentioned, you see 436 items. If you say you want to see Nephi and Sam because sometimes Nephi mentions himself and Sam together, change the search from or to and. There are seven times where he mentions his brother together with him. Now let me see if I just say person, Sam, how many times does that come up? Okay. Ten times. Sam is mentioned ten times in the Book of Mormon. So, this is how you search for people in the Book of Mormon, or in any of the scriptures for that matter. Now, as I said, Nephi is very difficult because it's hard to narrow it down to which Nephi you're talking about because when you have a father and son named Nephi and they're both mentioned, I think, in the book of Helaman and the book of 3rd Nephi. So, which one do you want? It's difficult to narrow that down. I don't know any way to do that right now, but if I do figure out a way to do that, I will tell you and add the feature to the software. If there are any ideas, I would be happy to consider them.